He's a bright spot for those pursuing a plan when it comes to crowdfunding. Of course, I'm talking about Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. Here's Mark. The news that the SEC is about to change the definition of accredited investor has been the news for about the last four years. You know, everyone's always saying the SEC is about to do this. Um, I don't have any reason to believe they're about to do it, so I think the definition will probably stay about the same. Probably even when they do it, it's not going to be gigantically different. The blurring, however, is real, and it has come about in the Title III world. Um, because, as you know, in Title III, the law limits very severely how much any investor can invest in a given deal. And if you're a Title III company trying to raise money, what, what you experience is you have wealthy, some wealthy investors who want to participate and, in fact, would like to invest a lot of money. You know, maybe you're only raising, let's say you're raising $600,000. You might get a few people who want to invest $100,000 each, which would finish off your whole round. But under those limits, those strict Title II or Title III limits, they're not allowed to. And what that has led to, and, and this is where the kind of merging together has taken place, every company doing a Title III raise, in my opinion, should also be doing a simultaneous Title II raise. And we call those side-by-side -side offerings. If done correctly, they are perfectly legal and um, very effective. So that's what we're seeing. So you, you get this, you know, there's a f funnel and people come into the site, are you accredited or not accredited? And if they're accredited, they can go over to the Title II raise where they can invest any amount they want. So that is indeed happening. Did you learn something? Do you see what we mean when we refer to him as our crowdfunding guru? Thought you would. Stay tuned for Mark's contributions in our upcoming programs, or if you like, we can set up a meeting for your own consultation with Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. Just write to us here, info at sbncrowd.com, and we'll get you set up on your own road to online investment through crowdfunding. When we come back, a look at two tracks you can get on to becoming your own boss or owning a piece of the business through crowdfunding. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the small business network.